like shrimp and <laughs> I like shrimps a lot and uh, and this is uh, this is one of uh, the latest latest models of shrimp it's a fairly fairly easy shrimp but uh, but nevertheless uh, a bit of a new uh, a bit of a new pattern well actually it's just uh, an, another pattern made in 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 in, uh, in some some different colors this is called the uh, the rainbow pig because it's it's actually just kind of like the uh, the the pink piglet or or the uh, or the pedigrees if you know that but in some different colors uh, so, so this is a, this is a nice alternative to to that one, and and I have from very very reliable sources that this really really this this pattern it really is the bomb. So first of all, um, we need some uh, some partridge feathers. Uh, partridge is is one of my all time favorite materials for shrimp and well for <laughs> loads of other stuff because uh, the feathers here are have have some some enormously wonderful properties and uh, and uh, and the the striations on on the feathers are are simply just well uh, very 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 cool. So I'm gonna take a few of these uh, feathers to tie down as as, uh, as mouth parts uh, for for this fly. I'm just gonna select one more feather like this. <laughs> and what I've done is, as you can see, I've taken out the the middle part right there, uh, because if if that one is if if that one is there, then uh, there is a tendency that uh, that the feather will, will, it will uh, the tail will or the mouth parts in 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 this case will look a bit boring and and completely uniform in length and stuff like that. We don't want that. We want something that looks uh, that looks good and uh, and and doesn't just look completely straight. So, there you have the mouth parts. Just gonna cut off this feather. We don't need that one anymore. And I've actually forgotten something. I can see. I'm just gonna add a bit of weighting here. Uh, if you're in Denmark, you're not allowed to use uh, lead wire. You'll have to use non-lead. If you're well in Sweden or Norway or any of those, I think lead wire is okay, and you can, you can, uh, you can use that. So use lead wire if you have it, or non-lead if if your government doesn't permit you to. So just a bit of that. I'm not going to use uh, uh, carapace and stuff like that on on this pattern. So it's, so how I weight this fly down doesn't really have uh, have that much. Uh, uh, doesn't doesn't mean that much. So there you have the the mouth parts here like so and um, then I'm gonna take some of the dubbing and uh, one of the wonders about this dubbing and why this fly is, is a bit different is uh, this fly really really is fluorescent so it has a lot of fibers Lo looks a bit dull looks like rainbow but but when you shine the UV light onto it uh, it really really fluoresces and that's also why this is probably the most um, sought after and the most used dubbing in all of Denmark for sea trout really really is uh, uh, really really is, uh, is is a good product and I'm I sell a lot of this stuff because it has a nice a nice color and then it has this fluorescence effect and and, and it's it's a very key element in in a lot of uh, in a lot of the most famous uh, Danish uh, sea trout flies so I'm just gonna add tie a small bundle down there as, as kind of like a part of the tail and then uh, we're off to have uh, a spay hackle here and uh, the spay feathers if you're not familiar with those is is a product that is unique to whiting whiting is actually the only the only farm as far as i'm i know of that is actually able to uh, to uh, to breed uh, breed breed uh, birds that have these feathers uh, these feathers are extremely extremely thin in the in the fibers and uh, and and very very good for uh, for uh, for uh, for f both freshwater and and saltwater flies uh, especially shrimps and stuff like that because it really really uh, moves in in the water so in order to to save a bit on on this because it's 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 a bit <laughs> it's a bit expensive uh, these these capes here because watching are the only one that can uh, that can do them they can they can well you know Kind of like set the prices to whatever they wish, and uh, and 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 and, uh, and, uh, and a big uh, whiting, uh, um, a big whiting uh, spay hackle here is 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 a bit expensive, regretfully. So what I'm doing to save on on the fibers is I'm taking some of the very long ones, which normally are too long all the way from from. Up. From the, up the end of the of the hackle here, because they are normally too much too long to use for hackles. But for this lower hackle, that's not going to be you know a feather turned up there. Uh, there's a trick so you can actually save a bit on this end and save all the good feathers on on this for for actually uh, 
body hackles and stuff like that, palmer hackles. So I simply just take one of these long feathers and I, and I bundle up all the, the fibers that is there and I simply cut them off. Um, and then I adjust the length of them so they are not completely uniform. I know this is a bit... Um, if you don't want to mess around with this, you can just simply make a hackle down here. But this will save you a lot of uh, a lot a lot of money, and and also you you will have some usage of of the larger feathers, which I think is nice. Otherwise, after you've tied a, 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 a well a lot of flies, you will have a have a a, a, a full neck of of these uh, uh, feathers where all the big ones is left that that you can't use for anything. So kind of like this, and then you get. The same effect as if you had done a hackle, uh, but uh, but you you save on on uh, on the actual hackles that is the correct size for tying strips. So this is well just a just a small trick. Use it if you if you want to. Um, I know I have a shop and I would like to sell you materials, but I I also like to be fair about sh about stuff. So so this is a trick to to actually save you some money. Good. Well, uh, that's that. Then I'm gonna take a small bundle of the dubbing again. Just uh, some uh, some of this rainbow dubbing once more to make a small bundle here. And this bundle is uh, is there to uh, to keep uh, to keep my shrimp bias uh, apart uh, because uh, because uh, this will this will help uh, this will help keep uh, yeah as I said help keep the the eyes apart uh, and uh, and making uh, making them stand out more to the sides like so. And there you have two choices. You can either go for the uh, for the fluorescent, uh, really, really stand out eyes here uh, in uh, in uh, in orange, or you can you can take the more subtle uh, black shrimp eyes. I really like these shrimp eyes. They are <laughs> by far the best uh, the best shrimp eyes product there is on the market, and they're made made by two Danes. So so they're made in Denmark, and and they I I really like that as well. So I want to support these guys. As you can see, there are two uh, two eyes on a uh, kind of like a small piece of uh, of plastic here. Uh, making it, it fairly fairly easy to uh, to attach these eyes and uh, and uh, and simply move on. So I'm going to tie this down here, and my eyes is going to be uh, in the correct position, like so. Uh, and my dubbing is going to help me have the eyes uh, uh, pointing outwards as I want them to be. There are some grooves and indentations on uh, on this here, so so your eyes uh, once they are tied down will will stay there, and you'll never have what I would call a, a phenomenon I like to call a pirate shrimp you know uh, when, when you're doing your own shrimp eyes you you sometimes see you have a shrimp with only one eye and that can only be a pirate shrimp oh, ah, the pirate shrimps are coming <laughs> you will never have the pirate shrimps again uh, when you're using uh, when you're using this so so far so good now I'm gonna take some uh, some ribbing here just some 0 0.16, 0 0.20, whatever you have laying around uh, of leader material. Tying this down here, cut it off. Select a hackle feather, and this time you need to take one of uh, one of the good feathers from uh, from down here. And depending on your hook size, of course, you you choose your feather carefully. I'm gonna select one of these. This one I think is the right size. Yeah, that's the right size. And what you want to do here, most of all, I, mostly I tie my uh, my hackles down in in the tip. But since uh, this is a shrimp, and you want the 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 most bulky part, bulky part of the fly to be down here, I'm gonna tie this down in uh, uh, at the uh, at the base of the hackle. I'm gonna tie it. You can tie it in here and and tie it down so the the blank side. Uh, the side, the side that is up on the hackle also is is pointing out towards you because that will help you uh, keep your hackle uh, keep your hackle pointing the right way while you turn it, like that. Cut this off. It really, really is amazing uh, and nice to tie with this uh, future fly thread because it is so so strong. You can just pull and pull and pull and pull and and it, it just stays there forever. What I did now was making a dubbing loop, and it in order to as you can see it's very wide in the bottom here. So so in order to close that gap, I simply just take my tying thread and tie it one time around the uh, around the. Uh, around the dubbing loop and then you can see the gap down here is uh, completely closed. I'm gonna hang that off to the side. I'm gonna take some of my thread all the way up here. Just gonna go a few times over my lead, uh, lead wire or non-lead wire uh, depending on where you are. As you can hear I'm clearly not in Denmark now. <laughs> uh, like so. 
good. And then I'm gonna add the uh, the the dubbing, the uh, the the rainbow dubbing to uh, to the uh, to the dubbing loop. This also gives me a uh, occasion to flash off my uh, flash off the the CF Design Turbo Turbo <laughs> Turbo Twister. <laughs> that is the bomb. Uh, what is also very cool is uh, is uh, when you have a, a tank that that is as strong as this one, you don't need to uh, to be uh, be careful about uh, you know the dubbing loop loop all of a sudden breaking and stuff like that. You can simply just hammer away and nothing will ever happen. It can't it can't break. It's simply it's simply too strong. So here it is. If you don't know it, it simply is insane. Uh, you gotta check it out. It's expensive as hell as all the the CF design is, but uh, hands down, it's just simply the best there is, like the rest of the CF stuff. So spinning my uh, my dubbing loop here, as you can see now, I have this very nice uh, strong as hell. Um, brush to uh, to make the body out of like so and uh, and make sure that if you are going to have more material your materials should thin out as you get to, uh, up to watch the the eye because you want uh, you want this fly to be tapered the wide way so it so it actually mimics uh, well the fly and and all the other stuff all the other things that's going on with this pattern is is down to watch the eyes because you want this to to be a, 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 a shrimp that is actually fleeing you know swimming backwards that is the whole idea of tying it this way um so uh, so uh, so make sure that it's not as bulky up in front as it is down uh, in the back to get to get well the most the most beautiful finish on uh, on this fly like so yeah that looks fairly fairly good I love that making sure everything is nice and tight folding out my dubbing here and then I'm gonna take my my other very very handy tool, my CF Design um, uh, hackle plier. I must say, when it comes to hackle pliers, there is this one, and then there is all the rest. I've tried numerous, numerous on several locations, uh, and uh, and and. Uh, one trick I must tell you: if you if if ever you get the chance, buy a CF Design hackle plier. Uh, it's it's simply is is. Probably the most important tool you can uh, you can you all, you can own uh, if if you tie if you tie coastal if if, if you tie flies with hackle that is uh, at all because this simply is just the bomb it is the best there is and it holds the hackle completely solid rock solid every single time uh, and and it's just something that that whenever you take it uh, <laughs> this is gonna sound a bit strange so i'm gonna rephrase that uh, whenever you use it you're just gonna think oh that's all right then i have my cf design hackle plier nothing to worry about all's all's well it really is 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 one of those things. There's a few things in uh, in in as, as a fisherman that really really is important, and and I think hackle plier hackle plier is is one of them. To have a good hackle plier, to have good tools, that is, is is important. So now what just happened here, and I'm terribly sorry about this, is uh, I did not use enough force when I tied down my ribbing. So when I started to turn this now. My ribbing broke. I've done this before, some of you might recall. But what I would have done with the ribbing is I would have turned, uh, I would have turned the ribbing uh, so it wasn't on top of the hackle all the way up here, and then uh, then I would have tied it down up here with uh, double layers of tying thread. So I'm going to put it that way, and then that way and tied it down, and uh, and then uh, my fly would have been uh, three or four times as strong. So, but you just have to imagine me doing that because my ribbing just got away. Okay, so now I have tied my ribbing down. We imagine I made a whip finish, and I'm gonna cut the thread off right there. Add some super glue, some saber gap, and uh, and then the fly is actually done. What I only need to do now is is to uh, to kind of like to make this fly look better in the in the in the in the hand or in, and on the, on the picture. I'm gonna take of it in a second, and uh, I simply brush uh, brush my fly with my. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, here is another product, product placement. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, then it's a CF Design uh, uh, Dovig needle uh, with a brush uh, in the in the handle. I'm simply gonna brush my fly here until it has uh, has the the right uh, the right ragged the right um, bushy look and also is uh, is uh, is transparent because shrimps are transparent. So I want my fly to be transparent as well. And uh, well. There you have it, the uh, the rainbow pig, or uh, yeah, the rainbow pig. Yeehaw, rock and roll. This fly is a sure thing. This will catch you, sea trout. Thank you for tuning in.